If you're up for a promotion, listen up. If you really want your boss to go to bat for you and get you that promotion that you've been after, you should go and eat their frog. What do I mean by this? This is a very insightful thing that I just recently read on Business Insider, and it's about taking the things that your boss doesn't want to do and doing them for them. But this comes in a three-step process. First, you need to be good at your job and performing well already. That should be a given. Obviously, you need to be performing at your current role if you expect to get promoted and taking on extra things or excess things if you're not really performing at your current level is a bit of a fool's errand. But if you are ready to take on some more work, then you can move to the second step, which is you gotta understand the things that your boss doesn't like to do and to learn the skills to be able to do those things. Obviously, you need to learn the new skill to take the workload away from the boss. So this is quite natural that you need to go learn the skill so you can take it off of the boss's plate, which leads into the third thing, which is doing that thing. Whatever the boss doesn't like to do, go and do that thing. That sounds pretty straightforward to me. And if you can do those three steps, then your boss is much more likely to go to bat for you when you're up for that promotion, and it might help put you ahead of your peers that might have the same level of experience, years of experience, or years at the company as you. So go and eat that frog and get that promotion that you've been after. After you've eaten the frog and you're ready for some more EQ content, you can get started up here. Or if you're ready to move on to social intelligence or SQ, you can get started down here. Or keep doing what you're doing and getting the results you've been getting. Up to you.